Hi, Dr. Windish here from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. I know you're tired of looking at my face, so we'll look at my student's face instead. She's going to remain nameless just for her own anonymity's sake. Uh, welcome to our educational series for students, medical students, graduate students, residents, etc. Uh, today I want to continue my multiple part series on the neurologic exam. And so today we're going to show how to test pain receptors. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm teasing. We're going we're gonna to go over how to do reflexes and look at various reflexes. We're not going to necessarily get into what those reflexes imply, just the physical exam technique. Remember, if you need to schedule a rotation with us, you can arrange that at 775-359-7111, and we're happy to see you here. This technique is the same for infants as it is for adults. So first thing to know is this carries over from your adult rotations. As you may remember from your adult neurology rotations, there are literally dozens of reflexes that can be tested, but there's five or six really common ones, and we're just going to look at them real quickly. Okay, so we're not going to do glabellar reflex, we're not going to do um, uh, uh, pectoralis reflexes because I'm, I'm really not interested in that. Uh, and some of those are a little difficult to do on infants. So we're going to start with just the biceps reflex. First thing we want to do is just relax the patient's arm and let me know when you've got where my hand is. Sure. If you need to. Okay, you're going to put your thumb on the biceps tendon and you can feel the biceps tendon right in the middle. Okay, and then you're just going to bang your own thumb and you can see her arm tense. Okay, then we're going to do the brachioradialis and again we're just going to relax her arm and we're just going to hit the tendon. Now if the student or if the patient is tense, you can distract them. So I'm going to have you make a, make a fist with that hand. Squeeze that hand as tight as you can and now you get a really brisk reflex there, okay? We can do the triceps reflex, okay, got a good view. Oh, she's got no triceps reflex, she's dead. Squeeze, make a, make a fist. Only with that hand, squeeze it tight, tighter. Tighter, 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 tighter. There we go, okay. Okay, so those are the three really common upper extremity ones. Looking at the lower extremities is the patellofemoral reflex, and remember you're hitting the patellofemoral tendon. Okay, so we're gonna do infrapatellar, femoral tendon, okay, and you can see the little reflex. There is the suprapatellar tendon, which hopefully does not have a very brisk reflex. That would be pathologic. And then finally is the uh, tendon for the Achilles tendon. Now the first step of checking the Achilles reflex is to actually briskly flex the foot, and it actually works better than like, uh... shoe on. So we're going to briskly flex her foot and make sure that there's no uh, clonus. There is not. Keeping it flexed, we'll just tap the tendon until uh, she either screams in pain or <laughs> gives, me some, gives me the reflex I'm looking for. Since she's not, we're going to distract you. So I'm going to distract you this way this time. Put your hands together. Like that. Now pull them apart as hard as you can. Let me have your foot. There we go. Pull harder. Harder, harder, harder. Oh, pull your hands. Like your, there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, and that is all there is to that. We're not going to look at Babinski's reflex right now because I'm not going to make her take her socks off. Um, and we're definitely not going to look at some of the other, other more obscure reflexes that we reserve for like neurosurgical patients and stuff. So I hope this has just kind of helped to enlighten you as the basic steps of the neurologic exam. This is Dr. Windish. Again, we can be reached here at 775-359-7111. We'll see you next time.